So there are three comets out there. One of them we know it is Comet Atlas. And the second one is Comet Panstars. And the third one is Comet Swan. When I started researching on Comet Atlas, and I imported Comet Atlas into a program called Stellarium, and to my surprise, we are tracking actually four to five pieces of the comet, and they are all named after different atlas numbers. That was pretty surprising to me. When the comet is so far out, and when you are looking at a comet, the actual comet itself, you won't be able to take a picture of, because the object itself is so tiny. You can take a picture of the halo, you can take a picture of the glowing uh, fireball that is going, but taking a picture of the actual comet itself is a monumental task from the Earth. You can probably do it if you fly a spacecraft around it and maybe you can get a better picture. So there are several questions about the, the last video that I posted. Is the comet is going to come, the comet Atlas is going to come and hit Earth? Um, you know, I kept answering, you know, it won't hit Earth, it is flying quite far from us. Similarly about the Comet Swan, is the Comet Swan is going to come and hit us? Not really, it is also passing maybe a bit closer than the Comet Atlas, but it is still flying further away. So behind me is the North right now, and when you are looking at the Earth as a globe, and when you look from the top of the Earth, the comet is actually coming in that trajectory and uh, going around the Sun and leaving back. So they are not going in the elliptical orbit like typically the Sun, like the planets are, and these are actually coming from the top and going to the Sun and leaving. Our orbit of those comets are like 4,500 years long. When it does the slingshot to the Sun, it actually moves pretty fast, and once the sun does the slingshot, it is thrown out 4,500 years, another you know, 4,000 years or so to come back again. Imagine if the comet Atlas or the comet Swan or the comet Pan stars, if they are coming in like 4,000 years ago, which would be like 2,500 BC. Let's hope for the best, and I'll show you the pictures I got of Comet Panstars and the Comet Atlas. I cannot take the picture of the Comet Swan yet, but there is a small window of opportunity next month, and I will definitely show you guys. Thank you for watching. If you are new to this uh, channel, I take pictures of comets, asteroids, planets, galaxies, a lot of deep space objects. Uh, if you like this video, please feel free to subscribe. Thank you for watching.